about being broken. Hey, give me some volume. The song was talking about being broken. Y'all ain't broken. Y'all ain't broken. How y'all keep singing these lies? I didn't have plans to put this up here, but God told me, you ain't going to be nothing with me like that in sin. You ain't going to be nothing with me with all kind of this stuff here, and you ain't going to be nothing with me having have and have. Ain't no way them three can abide with God no kind of way. Abide mean remain. It don't mean come to church. It don't mean remain coming to church. It mean remain with the word of God. God got me just where he want me I feel like preaching hell about somebody. I feel, feel like telling people, if you ain't living right, you going straight to hell. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like that. Because you know why? Y'all getting convicted. Yeah, y'all getting convicted. But y'all ain't convinced God will do nothing to you. Everybody bothered with God. Everybody changing God's word. Everybody changing how God wants you to be in church. Everybody don't want to come to church because everybody want to do what they want to do. That was wrong with the church. I, I got something too. I got something to tell the devil. Shut up, devil. Stop talking to me. Shut up. That was y'all all are telling. Devil, shut up. You just talking to me. You making me go against God. Shut up. Take power over him. Come in here. Say, shut up. Don't sing. Shut up. Don't clap. Shut up. Be mad with everybody. Shut up, devil. I'm supposed to be a Biden. I'm going to have the love of God in my heart. Shut up. Every time I talk to you, run in your mouth. Everywhere I go, you run in your mouth. When I come to church, you run in your mouth. When I come to church, if it ain't you running your mouth, it's your partner. It's somebody in the church running their mouth about something ain't right about the church, something ain't right about God. Shut up, devil. That what got me messed up now. That's why I ain't where I need to be now. Somebody keep talking to me. Somebody keep talking to me. I keep hearing voice. Well, who voice you hear? The only thing you get mad with is God. I see all y'all in here. Only thing y'all get mad is the word of God. I, 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 I was asking God, God, what robe do you want me to wear? He said, Apostle. Wear your black and gold. And let me help all y'all New Orleans Saints fans. This ain't the New Orleans Saints color. So they ain't talking about saints, but I'm talking about the saints of God. I 
know y'all. I know y'all don't know. I know what y'all don't know. You be running around talking about you a saint. You don't know that you a saint. No, you a ain't. Because it's not the new other saying. It says saint, a person in knowledge as holy. Everybody running around talking about they holy, but they ain't no saint. They might be with the New Orleans saint, but they ain't with God. Yeah, I'm talking to y'all. I thought y'all were broken. You can't even clap for God. You can't even rejoice in God. Y'all devils can't do nothing. Shut up, devil. Stop clapping, devil. Y'all keep coming to him pretending that y'all saved. He says, saint. A person in knowledge as holy. One of God chosen. Not the New Orleans saint. I ain't gonna ask y'all how many saints because y'all are lying. I already know y'all are lying. You lied to me when you, you lied to me last month. You lied to me the month before that. You lied to me week. You lied last week. You lied then. You a lie now. Shut up, devil. Just listen to what God said. He wants you broken. And if you don't get broken, you're going to hell. All y'all look up here. Stop looking down. Ain't nothing down now. If you're in sin, if you got a little mixed up sin, or you have it had, you are going to hell. Simple to break. I don't want no devil to him clapping. Come subject to God. All y'all spirits in him. Acting like y'all saved, sanctified, and Holy Ghost filled, you ain't nothing but a bunch of redneck. He said, Saint, a person acknowledged as holy, one of God chosen, a person living a holy life. Where the saints at? Don't lie, because let me tell you, oh, I got something for y'all today. I got something for y'all today. I got some for y'all today. I'm a priest of that God woman. I got some for all y'all. Listen to what I'm saying. I got some for all. I'm going to shut y'all devils up. It said, but the filthy, the unbeliever, the idolater, the murderer, the whole monger, the sorcerer, the idolater, and all liars shall have their paws in the lake. All y'all lie and say y'all say sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, five baptized, you're broken, you lie. He said, all liar, little lie, big lie, small lie, cricket lie, under your sheet lie, under your foot lie, whatever lie, you're going to hell, liar. That Revelation 20, 21, 8, and it said, all liars shall have a part. In the lake, which burned with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And I keep telling y'all, y'all keep lying. Y'all keep lying. Y'all keep lying. And you know what's bad about it? How can you get it right? How do you get it right? Huh? I'm convicted. But I'm not convinced God will get me. I'm not convinced God gonna get from for all liars. And He ain't said you're going to hell to the lake. First Peter, shut up. I preached a message one time, lost in the church, and I'm find out we got a lot of us in here we lost in the church. Not law because no, the word ain't there. We just law. Since y'all getting that, I lost, helpless, no longer knowing. No longer knowing. Huh? I turn them over to a strong delusion that they'll believe their own lie. Ain't God, ain't God awesome? Yeah, I guess I get the quiet voice going. I guess y'all got hoes. I guess I guess y'all I guess y'all sung that. I saw y'all y'all sung that whole whole hard that you broke it. Your your voice gone. But it was something your children would do, and you'd be hollering. That's the only time we cheer is when our children doing something. 
the one that woke you up and then woke your children up and gave you a shit, you don't even know how to cheer for him. Oh, I'm a priest too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I just got in my mind now. I'm going for bro. If I, if I preach the power of a message, you don't send that. If I preach the power of a message, you don't send that. If I preach the power of a message, you don't send that. I'm like that insurance company. The price, the price, the price. So no matter what I say, it's the same. Y'all still won't give me no glory. If God seen far away, guess who moved? He's still the same. First read the fourth chapter. Y'all look like y'all waiting. It don't make sense to wait on it when you ain't gonna buy it. In it. Don't worry about door number one, door number two, no, door number three. Just put them all in one door. Whichever one you is, that's where you at. Ain't none of them going nowhere but God. I know y'all think this is a bad one. Y'all think this ain't that bad. Y'all think that. No. Anything that's against God is bad. First Peter 4, chapter, beginning at the 15th verse. Y'all got it. It said, but let none of you suffer as a murderer. Or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matter. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. But the time has come that the judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it First, begin at us. What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinners appear? Oh, Heavenly Father, in Jesus. God, I thank you for calling me to preach your gospel. I didn't understand it at the beginning. I had fear in my heart. God, I don't care what nobody think. I don't care what nobody feel. Because I found out that the one that should be abiding in you, the one that should be connected to you, to the vine, they ain't connected to you because they ain't connected to me. Because if I'm preaching your gospel and I'm living your gospel, why don't they feel like we should be connected? But God, I ask that you will continue to give me a word, a rhyme of word. Some coming straight from you, God. That you can help your people and that you can stop allowing people to just keep coming to church and don't want to change. Coming in here being convicted, but not convinced that you will do what your words say. God, move upon your people today. Move upon every ear that hear. Facebook, YouTube, it don't make no difference. Preacher, apostle, bishop, it don't make no difference. They need a word from the Lord. And I hear you saying in my spirit, we are one word away from being who you want us to be. God, I say I appreciate you. Because you said if you be lifted up from the earth, you will draw all men under me. Shut up, devil. Don't say nothing. You don't have no right to say nothing to him. But come to submission to your to the Lord. And God, we forever give the pray. We give the thank. In your son Jesus' name we pray. And every heart can say amen. Amen. And you can have your seat. All in. One team. One fight. Ask one. Where we at, Cornerstone? Cornerstone, where we at? Yeah, I, I, I talked that one time. I preached that one time. And we ain't got that yet. All in, one team, one fight, as one. Yeah, I, 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 I ain't know what the Sunday school lesson was, but Mitchell told y'all what God expect. He want us to help one another. He want us to love one another. But we can't do it because to keep listening to the devil. The devil got your phone number. The devil got your, your bathroom. The devil got your bedroom. The devil got your cell phone. The devil got you. That's what's wrong with people. They can't do what God said. And so many people are mad with God. I'm telling the devil, shut up. I, I need to tell a lot of y'all preachers, shut up. 
I need to tell a lot of y'all apostles, shut up. Ain't no way you can be abiding in God and then don't want to have no fellowship with me or with Cornerstone. Yeah, I'm going to say it. Y'all don't want to have no fellowship. Why? What is the hidden agenda? Y'all, but the Bible said, he tell him, y'all ain't got to tell him, he said, John, can I just preach this? Because when I get to stopping and y'all get to acting like y'all, I just want y'all to look on me. Maybe you can come alive. Silver and gold. I ain't got nothing to give you. Silver and gold. But such as I have, I give unto you. Rise up. Listen to what he said. He said, it's a pun on the man wants to die. But after that, he said, after I give you my word, after I give you that, after, it's going to be a judgment. And everybody don't want me to judge. They don't want me to do them. But listen to what it said in John 16 and 1. I told you, you got to tell them, leave them, they leave them Bible on. He said, these things have I spoken unto you that you should not be offended. And everybody offended with the truth. Everybody, every time I turn around, people that say they're holy, they're offended with God's word. And they're offended with somebody bold enough to preach it. They're offended. They're offended. He said, six things to follow Jesus. You must get him first. I want y'all to listen because most of y'all ain't got him. Y'all just coming to church. Shut up and listen. He said, six steps to follow Jesus. You must get him. You must own him. Now, when you get him, you got to own him. Most of y'all don't own him because if, if it ain't church, don't nobody know you got him. Don't nobody know you say. Don't nobody know nothing about you. Nobody. Six things. Six steps to follow Jesus. You must get him. You must own him. You need to learn about him. Where y'all at? That you think that you can leave church and never pick up your Bible. That you can go to work and be nasty to your co-worker. And saying you with God ain't possible. You ain't following him. This is what it said. It said six things to follow Jesus. He said, you must love him. If you love me, you will keep my commandment. If you love me, you will stay broken. Y'all don't think enough of him to love him. You want a man, you want a woman, you want the right job, you want the right bank account. This is what it said. And this is a killer. Six step to follow him. You must obey him. Now the problem is, who in here obeying what he say? Who in here obeying him? Which one of them are you? Which one of them is you? Which one is it? God said, I'm trying to get you to know that y'all not abiding. And if you did connect with me, you cut the branch off. You prune yourself. Then he said, you must work for him. But that cut a lot of us out right there. I know I'll not, I'll not see no hand move for working. But there's a point on the man wants to die. And after that, see, y'all don't really believe that when you die, there's going to be a germ. Don't, most churches don't believe that. Most churches in me today, they don't believe that after the, uh, the, the, the church over, there's going to be a germ to the church. All in, one team, one fight, as one. He said, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, in agreement as one. He said, that's the same way I want Cornerstone. But for some reason, we can't get that like that. Who in him stopping us from being one? Who in him stopping us that we in sin? Who in him that want to be had saved? Who in him want to keep some little sins in their life? Who in him want to go out to the world? Who? That you're not even concerned about your children. 
Said who? Then what God telling me? I'm going to do this like God said. This is how he said it. He said in 2 Timothy 3, 1 and 2, he said, This know also that in the last days, palace time shall come. For men should be lovers of their own self. Men and women, y'all lovers of your own self. You don't care nothing about your children. All you want to do is get your groove on. And your children don't care nothing about your mama because you want to do what you want to. And we let the TV and all this raise our children that in the school system, they want to make and make it all right for our children to be gender, to gender make their own decision on their gender. You ain't even know enough to wash your tail yet. And then talking about you want to be, I want to be a, a dude. You want to be what? Well, check your plumbing. A dude got a plumbing. How you gonna be a how you gonna be a, a man when you ain't got what a man got? And every time you go to the bathroom, you still got to put on a bra, you still got to put on pants, and you still got to sit down and use the bathroom. But the world is painting a picture to our young people that they can is confusing they they confusing themselves. This is what it said, and this is where the church has got. These things have I spoken unto you that you should not be offended at my word. And everything you preach now, the church is offended. And every time, every time I'm hearing somebody preach, they talking about I want to comfort somebody. God has sent the comforter. He ain't comfort them. You ought to have the Holy Ghost and be comfortable. You ought to be comforted in his word. You ought not to want nobody to water this thing down for you because you is one of them. Preachers don't want to hear the truth. This is what God said. He come back in Psalm 119, 11. He said, Thy word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against it. Why y'all don't want to talk about sin when David said, I hid it in my heart. I hid this word in my heart that I won't sin against it. In other words, I hid it in my heart so I could tell the devil, shut up. You can't tell him to shut up when you're running with him. You can't tell him to shut up. You can't tell him to shut up. Because you love him. This is what he said. He come back and start talking to St. John 16, 8 and 9. He said, and when he is come, he's talking about the Holy Ghost. All y'all lie, time y'all got the Holy Ghost. He said, when he come, when he come. So that means you know what sin is, you know what righteousness is, you know what the judgment is. So why you keep doing it? Why y'all still looking like this? If God, if you know what God say. If God say I got on black, why you saying I got on red? You want to go against God. And for that call, this is what he said. He said when he had come, he will reprove the world of sin. And don't nobody want to preach about sin. Don't nobody want to say nothing about wrongdoing. He said, and righteousness and judgment of sin because they believe not on me. They ain't care nothing about what God said. But listen to what he said. He said, where people are trying to go is where the judgment will start at the church. Everybody in church today. And if God was to come back right now, he'll show up at the church. All of them playing, all of them waving hand, all of them coming to the altar and all that. Coming to the altar filthy. Waving your hand and singing God's holy song in a Zion, in a foreign land. Here y'all trying to sing to God being a foreigner. You ain't no saint. You an ain't. Everybody trying to tell me how to, I love God. You can't tell me I don't love God. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Ask me how. I, plan, I planted orange. You got rutabaga. Something that I don't like. I ain't want no rutabaga. I planted what I like. I planted urn. Where did rutabaga come from? All y'all coming here with collard greens and rutabaga. Where that come from? That ain't what we planted on. We plant something that's got some sun kiss to it. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Move the back of the tail like her. Ask me why I pick her, Jeff. Because it got nine slices in it. Love, joy, peace, long suffering, meekness. It's all in there. It's all in the slices. And the only thing about the slices, see the outer shore, the outer shore of the arm is the covering of God that he put over me and that I can bust out. When you don't even know it, I just bust out and start showing you love, even though you don't like me. Even though I know some of y'all don't like me, I still love you. That you know why I love them? That one of my fruits. It ain't no rutabac. Rutabac ain't got that many slices. What 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 y'all what y'all what y'all what y'all fruit hold? I got an earth for mine. Cause I know I I know I I know I need a, I know I need to have all the fruits of the spirit. There's some opposite fruit too. Yeah, y'all don't want y'all still want to talk to me? Well, I'm coming. Listen to what he said. He's talking to her. And I love the way he said it. And see, y'all didn't get what he was saying about abide. Y'all, y'all, y'all didn't get it. He said in St. John 15 and 4, he said, abide in me. See, y'all, y'all need to be looking up here. Y'all need to be looking here. Ain't none of y'all got no doctor skills. Ain't none of y'all got no nothing. Doctor on yourself. Surgeon, do surgeon on you. Lay down and let me work on you. Don't be watching her. Lay down and let me deal with you because you a sinner. That's our problem. We ain't got to be going on. He said, abide in me and I in you. Is God in y'all? Is God in it, y'all? This is what he said. My message today, since y'all won't tell the devil to shut up, I need to go and tell you. Judgment must begin at the house of God. You come into church every service, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday morning, Sunday morning, all day, Sunday evening, and the judgment going to begin at your house. Not this house, but what you walk home with. He going to judge you on where you at. He going to judge you to that. He going to judge you to that. He going to judge you to that. You can't get away. You can't get away. God going to judge. Judgment is going to start at the church. And everybody going to church to keep them going to hell. But that's where the judgment is going to start. Y'all talk to me. Y'all talk to me. This is what he said. He said, can two walk together except they be agreeable? How, how you tell me you with God when you're doing everything else against God? You going to hell? I ain't got to sin you. I ain't got to sin you. That's why he said, abide in me and I in you. The branch can bear, cannot bear fruit of itself. 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 It abide in the vine. Can two walk together? So he's telling you right there, you got to be connected to God. And most of y'all is not connected to God. We ain't even talking about remaining. Look, he said, abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. So that means you can't bear fruit and say, oh, I got love. And you ain't abiding in the vine. You know, that was some of y'all trying to do it. Some of y'all trying to say y'all here saved, but you ain't a saint because you ain't holy. Because you ain't abiding in God. He said the only one can have the Holy Ghost is the one that obeyed him. That's Acts 5 and 32 if you just want to stop by there and check it out. Question me if you want to. He said, he said look, saint, a person acknowledged as holy, one of God chosen, a person living a holy life, Abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine. No more can you except you abide in me. So what kind of fruit you got if you ain't abiding in? Talk to me. When the judgment gonna begin at the church, the judgment ain't gonna judge, ain't gonna come in here. It's gonna follow you because you supposed to be the church and everybody coming to the church but they ain't the church. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Listen to what it said. My wife sent me a scripture. She said, oh, 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 Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. So why y'all trying to get dry? If the ways of the Lord is not in yourself, why y'all trying to feel like y'all can do what y'all want to? 
Somebody told me, I see a church tomorrow. It ain't him. How you do that? How do you do that? How do you do that? I'm getting closer to God. I'm ready to be right with God. But then you can't make it a church, but you can make it a work. Stop lying. Shut up, devil. He's telling them, say what you want to, say what you want to. He's telling them because I'm in my job. He said, oh, Lord, I know that the way of the man is not in himself. It is in man that walketh to direct his own step, his own path. He, he walking. He ain't let God out the now step. Even though he go to church, even though you care about, you ain't let God out of no step. When God said, the steps of a Lord, huh? A good man is all about the Lord. You ain't let him out of now. Only step you do is step in the church. That's what he said. He talked about the germ. He said, germ and a opinion or decision that is based on capital thought. The act of proceeding, of forming an opinion, of making a decision. He said, German. Then it said, the German day. The day of God German of mankind at the end of the world. He said, and he said I'm going to judge them. I'm going to judge them. They can't get away. I am going to judge them. It's just as simple as that. He's telling us this because he wanted to know. And one thing I found out about this ministry that I love about it, if you want to go to church, this ain't the church. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me talk to you, the hills, as well as y'all in here. So my, you might can make the right decision. If you just want to go to church, this ain't the church. I mean, not that we present or nothing, but we, if you want to just be saved, this ain't the church. But if you want to live by the word of God, if you want to live by what God and live how God wants, if you want to be holy and be a saint of God, this is the place to be. We ain't trying to sugarcoat it. We ain't trying to play with you. We ain't trying to say you got to abide in him. You got to be connected to God, not to connect to the cornerstone. You got to be connected to God. You got to abide in his word. Everybody want to just go to church and act like they all right. Listen to what God said. He talked about in Matthew 10 and 15. He said, verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerant for the land of Solomon and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for you, than for this city, than for Pensacola. He said, more going to be more tolerant. See, he, he was tolerant with Solomon and Gomorrah. But with y'all, ain't no tolerance. All y'all in here walking the way you want to walk, taking your own stuff. He said, hey, ain't going to be nothing for you. This is what he told me. Come back. In Genesis 6, 5 and 6. He's 6, chapter 5 and 6. He said, God saw that the wicked of men were great. This in the beginning. This in the beginning. And Jesus don't came and it don't got wicked earth. Judgment must begin at your house, at your church. How many of y'all is God church? How many of y'all is God church? How many of y'all is a church for God? Now what about in your church? What about in your church? All y'all had your hand up. What do what how do what do this about in your church? Do you live by this? Do you walk like this? Do you love like this? Huh? Is you the whole, is you in the spirit? Huh? It's the holy Bible. Is you holy? Is you pure? We ain't talking about no, every now and then I'm doing right. Yeah, oh, my, I had a good day. Now church won't let anything go. They let you shack in the church. They let you do anything in the church. All they want is milk. And then the preacher will lie like everybody saved, everybody sanctified. But listen to what God said. He said, God saw that the wicked of man were great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thought of his heart was only evil continued. What's in y'all thought? All y'all in here saying y'all were God. 
What's in your thoughts? What do you think about me? What do you think about your sister and brother? Huh? He just told the money, we should all be your bad. And then that was just at the church uh, Friday night. How many of your, your children, your parents don't told y'all not to sell what's going on in your house? I was shocked when I seen hands go up. I was shocked because it made me wonder, so what you think about your leadership? Tell me they have a medal. Listen to what I'm saying to y'all. The same people y'all don't want them to talk to is the same people got you saved to help they lie. Because if you wouldn't have been here and got what you got, you wouldn't be able to get them what they want, what you want them to live by now. So how sudden that this church changed your life, and then you go home and tell your children not to say nothing. So what you telling your children about the leadership? Don't you listen to them? That man, somebody ought to get that right right there. I went walking around with that one. I said, well, I said, look at him, Pastor. I was in a bad place right there. And I, I, I was in myself, and I just didn't, didn't, I just didn't want to thank him. Because the day of, uh, uh, the day of God judgment on mankind at the end of the world going to be something. In other words, it's the day of a final judgment. You ain't going to be able to get that right. These things have I spoken unto you that you should not be offended. The stuff I preach, people are offended because it's the truth and they don't want to live by it. Why, did, why, 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 Apostle Simon, why? Ask yourself why, Apostle Simon, ask yourself why. Because Romans 128 told me why. He said, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. See, I was giving them God knowledge. So they didn't want to retain God in my, they had their knowledge because I was, they thought they were saved by this. They thought they were saved by speaking in tongues. They thought they were saved by dancing. They didn't understand that you got to be saved by obeying God's word. So I preach the word. So they get mad with the word. So they don't want me around. But the judgment going to begin at your house, not your church building. He wants to judge his vessel. That's supposed to be carrying his fruit. That's supposed to be abiding in him. Now, I know most of y'all ain't A, B, I, D, E. I know most of y'all ain't abide. I already know that. I already know that. But if I ask you that, you'll raise your hand. And I just told you about all liars. Somewhere we're going to get this thing right. This is what he said. He said, even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. Y'all listen to that. So if a preacher preaching God's knowledge, they don't want to retain that. So I told Mission this morning, I understand why people reject me or reject the church because I'm giving them knowledge from God and they don't want knowledge. Because, see, they want me to speak in tongues and in the name of them. This is what I'm going to say. Thy word have I hidden in my heart that I shouldn't sin against it. These things have I spoken unto you that you should not be offended. Why everybody getting offended with the truth that I preach? And then tell me they're supposed to be right with God. But this know also. That in the last days, perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own self. That's the problem. They love their own self. And God come over here and start talking in first Peter. He started telling us these things because he wanted to know. He said, beloved, think not as strange concerning the fire of trial, which is to try you, Apostle Simon, as though some strange thing happened unto you. This is what would have happened. I told him in the morning. I seen what how the Pharisees, Sadducees, and scribes did Jesus. Jesus came to bring truth and bring knowledge, and they was rejecting him because they weren't doing none of it. So when I come to preach the knowledge and give people truth, they want to reject me because they don't want to do knowledge. They don't want to retain God in their knowledge. But if you don't forget nothing else, just tell them I said this, Eileen, Hebrew 9, 27. It's a point on the man wants to die. You can preach whatever you want to in the pulpit. You can exalt whatever you want to. But at the end of that, it, there's going to be a judgment. And he said, woe to the pastor, the apostle, the bishop, the minister that scattered his sheep. We won't give people the truth. 
the journey must begin at the church. And just in case y'all don't tell him, shut up talking to him, devil. Shut up talking to him while I'm preaching. Stop getting their mind. Stop having their mind going everywhere. That they're going to realize one thing. To be lost in the church is helpless, no longer knowing. Because if God give you a reprobated mind, you ain't going to no longer know. You can sit in here all day. When he give you a strong delusion and he give you a rough bait of mind, you can sit right in here and I can scream at the loud as I want to. I can talk about sin. I can talk about what's wrong. I can talk about what's right with God. I can talk about how you should love God and you'll sit right there. What's wrong with, what's wrong with you? We preaching the chair moving. What's wrong with you? You don't get the move or get the reaction after church. Ain't that what y'all do? I preach to y'all. Y'all sit here and like y'all in a day and like y'all understand. But after church, the devil tell you, now you can talk. Now you can move. Now you can walk. The judgment must begin at the church. This is how it's said in the scripture, at the house of God. That let you know he made it personal. This is what he said. He said, think it's not screen concerning a fire trial, which is to try you, Jasper, as though some strange thing happened under you, Evangelist. But rejoice in so much as you are partaker of Christ's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad. Also with exceeding the joy. He said, if you be reproved, apostle, for the name of Christ, happen. Are ye? Because I'm identifying with God, and when the judgment come, I'm going to be glad. Because you know why, Jeff? Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, I, to be in that number. That's another group of saints. That's another group of saints. And see, that's what I'm talking about the world. The church won't preach the truth. They let everybody do all kind of stuff. They just damage our children. This is what he said. He's trying to tell us something. He wants us to understand what God is saying. He said, and God saw that the wicked of men were great in the earth and that every imagination of the thought of his heart was only evil continued. And he repented the Lord. He had made man on the earth and it grieved him to his heart. And that after I don't send Jesus, and I look down at the earth, and y'all still wicked. Y'all still don't want to do what I said. I give you a man of God to preach the truth to you, and you still go whoring after the devil. But don't forget, the judgment is going. Let me get over here too. He said, he said, he said, look, he said, if you be reproved. For the name of Christ, happy is ye. He said, for the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you, Apostle Silma. Don't y'all get mad because I'm talking about me. On their part, he is evil spoken of. But on your behalf, huh? on your part, he is glorified. He said, but let none of you suffer as a murderer. See, when you on, 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 on God's side and you living for God, you don't murder nobody in the church. We ain't talking about with no gun. We ain't talking about with no knife. We ain't talking about pausing nobody. We talking about your action. Every time you got something to say about the church or you got something to say about somebody, it's negative. That should never come out of a believer's mouth negative. He called you a murderer. Any murderers in the house, you raise your hand on everything else. Come on, liar. See, y'all hide on the truth. Y'all won't tell on your little, little nasty self. 
This is what it says. He, he, he talking to her. He said, look, he said, uh, as a thief, oh, we're still in a minute. We're still in a minute. Child, the Lord gave me that. The Lord gave you what? That's a thief. I, I, I told the men, and I, I said, I think, I think we can forget about every message that don't been preached in here. And I said, for God to send a message and say, I'm convicted. And I come up and repent. Or either I hear the message, I'm, I'm convicted that I know that's me. And I come up here and lie like I'm repenting. And then I walk back to my seat. But I'm not convinced that God will do nothing to him. So that's why I go right back to doing what I'm doing. That's why all y'all been trained by the devil to say, go up there and act like you repent. Know why he tell you go up there and act like you repent? Because he know you're lying. He know he going to keep you like that. So when you go back to the set, to your seat, you don't believe that God, you convinced that God going to get you for that lie that you told. Him. Know what else too, Pastor? You ain't tell it all. Know why you ain't tell it all? The prophet of the house came up here and bell down and had a bunch of weight. And she said, loose everything. She said, don't take nothing back to your seat with you. So a lot of y'all. That's what it said. Boy, your boy, boss, you, they, they kind of got quiet on you. Listen, listen, what, listen, what, listen what he said. He come back and said, he said in John 15, 22, he said, if I had not come and spoken unto them, if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had seen. But now they have no cloak for their sin. They don't have no excuse. They don't have no excuse for their sin. And that's why God said in John 16 and 1, these things have I spoken unto you that you should not be offended. Because if I had not came and spoke your sin unto you, this is what he said. He come back and said in Luke 6, 46, he said, Luke 6, 46, and why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the thing which I say? Why y'all call me Lord, Lord? Why, why do y'all call me Lord, Lord, and do not what? Why do y'all say y'all a believer? Why do y'all say y'all love me when I say if you love me, you keep a commandment? Why? When I'm telling you that hell is real, and I'm telling you that the judgment is going to be in that, begin at the house. Why you keep doing what you want to do when I'm telling you what my word said? I'm telling you that the judgment is going to begin at the house of God. Know what I told him, Jeff? I said, so, Lord, teach me how to number my days that we may apply our heart to wisdom. Lord, teach me how to walk your way. Teach me how to love like you want me to. Lord, teach me how to win everybody to give me. Teach me. Teach me, God. Teach me. And that's what the church be doing. That's what Cornerstone Abundant Life be doing. It be teaching y'all. And y'all reject the teaching. Y'all rejecting the teaching. Y'all coming to him with your mind to do what you want to do. And you're telling God, I ain't doing nothing the apostle said and what your words say. I ain't studying you, God. All y'all in here that rebel in God's word, that's what you're telling him. I just put it in your turn. It's what he said. He come back in St. John 3 and 19 and 20, which y'all love for God so love the world. Well, I'm skipping that. I'm getting to your judgment. This is what he said. He said, this is the condemnation that light has come into the world. And men love darkness rather than light. That's why most of y'all ain't trying to get right. That's why most of y'all ain't trying to be around nobody that's living right. We stand around all them sinners. And y'all know what? Everything that I don't told all these people that don't left the church, it's coming to pass. I know we ain't getting to see them all. I know we don't know about them all. But the writing is on the wall. You can act like you want to enjoy it for a while. And at the same time, 
God said, I'm going to laugh at y'all calamity. Right now, y'all y'all think y'all laughing at the apostle because you think you're doing all right in here and there. But listen to what he said. He said, this is the, the condemnation that light has come into the world and man a little darkness rather than light because they, their deeds were evil. That's why people don't like this church. It's too much light in him. So they find something wrong with somebody in the church so they can go. But how can you leave truth and go down and sit down and like, like, look at to a candy man in a candy store when you used to eat a full meal? You don't went from eating steaks to eating candy. Don't you know your teeth going to decay? Don't you know your life going to decay? You can't keep eating candy and don't eat no full course meal. Know the next thing bad about it? You can't live off that old revelation that you had. A lot of y'all think y'all can live out that old revelation. And I understand you looking at the message. It ain't the same where that's where you're supposed to be at. I just got the heart of God that a wise man gained soul. And since you still my member, I need to make sure you get some food. I don't want you to decay. I want you to have some kind of substance in your life. Because now faith is a substance of thing. So I got to make sure you got something to eat on. That's what a, a wise man would do for his children. This is what he said. He said, and for every, for, 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 for every one that doeth evil, hated cornerstone. Neither come to cornerstone. Lest they deed. Huh? Let they need what? Let, he said, and when he come, he will reprove the world of sin, of uh, unrighteousness, and judgment. That was, since I got the Holy Ghost, and then y'all got a nerd to have a dash to tell me I can't judge you. I ain't judging you, I'm preaching judgment. This is what he said. Listen what he said. Listen what he said. Listen what he said. Y'all leave God alone now. Y'all leave him alone. Don't, don't stir him up. Huh? He, he, you, 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 you. They trying to get away. They trying to get away. This is what he said. This is how you know how God is. He come back in one, one, Psalm 119, 89. He said, forever. He said, forever. Oh, Lord. Thy word is seller in heaven. Now, 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 now I'm going to read that. And then I'm going to read Malachi 3 and 6. It says, For I am the Lord and I change it not. Therefore, the son of Jacob are not consumed. Then he come back in Hebrews 13, 8. Jesus the same yesterday and today and forevermore. And I always say that cornerstone is a Goshen. And people say that that can't be possible because Goshen was for the Old Testament. Forever, Lord, that word is selling to heaven. So if God did it one time, and if he changed it not, he can do it again. And Jesus is the same yesterday and the day and forevermore. Ask me to break it down to him. We ain't going to call it Goshen. We're going to call it Cornerstone. He ain't got to use Goshen. He just wants you to know we're going to be well taken care of. When everybody is going through a recession, we're going to be still standing able to take care of our church. See, y'all y'all use the scripture and say God the same on what you want to. Shut up, devil. That what you said. Heaven, life, blessing, and joy. Hell, death, cursing and torment. That was going to happen at the job. If you still here, you got a choice. You, got, you can make a choice today or, or you, can, you can stay like you here. Let me get it to you again because I, I think y'all missed it. He said, heaven, life, blessing, and joy. That's what I got. Now you figure out what you got. I know what I got. Promise made, promise kill. You know why? I put all them down. 
And if I lean there and one of them, I'm repenting quickly and getting away from it. If I, if I even just happen to be lean to that way, y'all don't do that. This is what it said. It, it said, heaven, life, blessing, and joy. Most people in the church ain't got life, ain't got no blessing, and ain't got no joy. All right, all right, all right. Only, life, only life you got is abiding with him. I read that. And, and the blessing ain't a car or a house or, or all that stuff. That ain't a blessing. A blessing when you go to the doctor and ain't nothing wrong with you. But it said, hell, death, cursing, and torment. Now you, you validate and ask yourself, where I'm at already? Because you ain't got to wait to go to hell. People suffering right now. This is what it said. I got another one for you. Together in unit, to dwell even as one, as having one heart, one soul, and one interest. One come go. That's why I said a person want to come to church can't do it. A person that want to be saved, they'll say we come to church too much. As some of y'all say, as some of y'all feel like that, as some of y'all don't want to be here, you wish you could be out somewhere hockey, playing hockey or something. Anything but Jesus. This is what he said. Together in unity. So if you ain't in unity with me, you already know you ain't. To dwell even as one. Well, I know a lot of y'all ain't with me. Having one heart. I know y'all heart ain't like mine. One soul. Oh, but we, we can go on and start managing some people. And one instrument. Oh, that rough, boy. Ain't that rough? Ooh. And then they get mad. He come back in Ezekiel uh, 3 and 17. He says, son of man, apostle son, I have made thee a watchman of Pensacola around the area. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. And everybody wonder why he keep preaching all these things. Because I'm warning you from God. He called me to be a watchman. Everybody that's preaching ain't called by God. That's why I can tell you the judgment is going to begin at the house and not at the churches, not at all these churches. It's going to judge at, at all the people that go in the church and all their house, even though he's coming in to clean it. Y'all know one thing going to be bad, though? He going to whoop them shepherds because the shepherds ain't giving them the tools to clean it. He not getting the people to let them know this is wrong, that is wrong. He come back in Isaiah 58 and he said, cry loud, cry loud and spare not. And lift up that voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. And the house of Jacob, they sin. Nobody want to cry loud. Everybody wants to talk about, well, we're going to help everybody. We want everybody to feel good. We don't want to beat up on nobody. So when I'm crying loud by God's word, y'all saying I'm beating up on them. So y'all saying God's word is a stick. Well, let me tell you, you don't have a fresh understanding of revelation with it. He said, my word is a two-headed sword. It's quicker. I ain't beating nobody. I'm cutting. I ain't beating. He come back and tell me. He tell me again. I'm talking to a preacher. You ain't nothing but a bunch of liars. And all liars are going to have their part in the lake. He come back in 2 Timothy. He said, preach the word, Apostle Simon. Be answered this season. Out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exalt with all long suffering. All y'all preach that at different people comfort, but you ain't preaching that to your people. He's talking to, he said, a judgment must begin at the house of God. Y'all hear God? He's talking to, he come back, he said, yep, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. He said, for the time will come that the judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it begin at us, at the church, what shall the end be of them that obey not the God? So that's us too. Everybody here not obeying what you hear. The judgment going to begin at the house. And if we scarcely be saved, if we scarcely make it in, 
if I'm getting up early in the morning, standing before God, living right before God, and I'm scarcely going to make it. All y'all ought to be repenting today. Everything ought to be repenting. Because you why? You ain't stayed before the Lord. You ain't abiding in him. You ain't remaining in him. Because as soon as church get out, if somebody look at you wrong, you'll get mad and won't talk to him. Right after church. If y'all don't did it before, you leave him, you'll be mad for church get out. Some of y'all ain't talking to each other right now. And they want to act like you with God. It's what he said. He come back in Deuteronomy 7 and, and, and 9 and 11. He said, no one no doubt for that the Lord thou God, he is God. The faithful God was keeping covenant and mercy with them that live, that love him and keep his command. Y'all hear, y'all hear who mercy, who he keeping the covenant with? So all y'all ain't, ain't got, and y'all ain't doing what he said? Let me read it again. Let me read it again. Let me read it again. I don't want to rush y'all. No doubt for that the Lord thou God he is God, the faithful God, which keep his covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments. He said, to a thousand generations and repay them that hate them, him, to their faith. He said, I'm going to punch you right in your face. I'm going to punch you right in your face because you, you, you sit right here, heard my word, heard what I said, and you ain't want to do it. I'm going to punch you in your face. Then before the judge. So some of y'all might be getting punched now. This is what he said. Let me, let me come on down here. He said, he look at he said, and repay them that hate him to their faith, to destroy them. He will not be slack to him that hate him. He will repay them, him, to his faith. Huh? Thou shalt therefore keep the commandment, the statute, and the judgment which I command thee this day to do them. Now what y'all going to do? What y'all going to do? He said, for the time will come that the judgment must begin at the house of God. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinners appear? Y'all talk to him and tell me where y'all going to appear. This is what he come back and said in 2 Timothy 2 and 19. He said, never let the foundation of God stand assured. He said, sure. Yes, My mother-in-law said, be sure. Yeah. Yeah. Your sin? Yeah. Church, 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 church. It said, be sure. Your sin will fire you out. He said, be sure. <clears throat> Let me make it a little different, different, different to y'all. Make sure everything you do wrong will fire now. Because when I talk about sin, y'all try to act like y'all, y'all ain't there. So everything that you do that you know that's against God, what you label it as, if it's against God, God going to get you for it. That's what he said. Y'all, 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 still, y'all heard him? He said, never let the foundation of God stand assured, having this seal. The Lord know them that are healed. Hold up. Hold up. So you mean to tell me the Lord know in him who healed? Whether y'all lie or not? <laughs> that sounds like I'll be getting right. So yeah, I'm sitting here acting like I'm God, and God said, ain't nothing man. That's just, like, that's just like I go to the pill and I don't have a child, and, and, and they say, that, that's your baby right there. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that baby right there? No, nah, man. Somebody don't get, somebody don't mix up some baby. Now, nah, where my baby at? No. Nah. Where the mama at? Where the mama at? Where the mama at? Where the mama at? Who this came out of? God know them. That are healed. So if he stepped down to them 42 generation again, he come down and start looking at y'all. What would he say to his these churches? Don't call on Jesus now. You should have been calling on him when I was down here.
This is where he be walking around when I'm preaching. He be automatically checking your spirit out. And he be saying, they acting like they attendance of Apostle Simba. And they sent him and ain't paying no attention at all. They rejecting him right now. They are not going to do what is being said. And for that cause, all I want him to do is to tell them the truth. Because when y'all put, turn y'all paperwork in, I'm going to be the one grading. And you know how he's going to grade it? Everything that you put down right, he's going to mug it wrong. Because you ain't did it. You're getting the right answer. But the different output. He's going to tell you, you're wrong. You, you, you put down the wrong answer. You put down the right answer. I know you were taught right. But you, it ain't go with it. Because I told you, together in unity, to dwell even as one and having one heart, one soul, and one entrance. So when I check your paper, you didn't go to Cornerstone. And I understand. This is what he said. He said, nevertheless, the foundation of God stands sure. Having the seal. So it's some kind of seal we got. That's the Holy Ghost. He said, the Lord know them that are here, and let everyone that name the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh. This is what he said. He said, depart from iniquity. That's, he said, I already know them here, but let me ask y'all something. Iniquity is sin that you knew was sin. You didn't know that first. So now it's not sin to you, it's iniquity. How many of y'all still doing it? He said, depart from it. He's trying to tell you the part from before judgment. He's trying to tell you. He, he, he warning you again. He's telling you these ain't going to make it. He, I, 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 think, I think you ought to thank God for it. Listen what he said. Listen how God said it now. He said, and let everyone that name the name of Christ depart from iniquity. He said, stop what you're doing. Then he come back and said, he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Before I judge the church, Hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. He said, now, listen what I'm telling you. He said, he that has ears. Now, listen what he said right here. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteous of men who hold the truth and unrighteousness. He said, I'm against all that. Hey, what y'all going to tell him? And listen what he said. But the fifth, the unbelievers, the uh, abominable, and a, a murderer, and a homemonger, and a scornful, and an annihilator, and all liars shall have their part in the lake of fire, which burn with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. That's why I'm going in the first resurrection. Because the second one ain't got no power. I'm not going to be waiting on the train on the second one. When everybody don't got up out of him, possibly gone, and y'all still here, y'all going to be thumbing a ride. You don't know who might pick you up. But y'all going to be wanting to ride with somebody. The ship, the train going to be gone. But there's going to be a second train come. If you couldn't get in the first one, there's no way you're going to make it to the second one. Judgment must begin. At the house of God, where people trying to go is where the judgment will start at. God said, Terry, they ain't hear me. But that's six step to follow Jesus. You must get him. You must own him. You need to learn about him. You must love him. You must obey him. And you must work for him. And God tell you, come unto me. All you that are heavy laden. And I'll give you rest. And a lot of y'all need a lot of rest. Because y'all ain't just going to sleep in church. Y'all sleep in your spirit walking around every day. He's telling us what he desires of us. 
And we kind of got our own mind that we're going to do what we want to. And I just feel like the judgment and opinion of a decision that is based on careful thought, God already done figured the thing out. The act of the proceeding of performing an opinion of making a decision. These things have I spoken unto you that you should not be offended. Heaven, life, blessing, and joy. Hell, death, cursing, and torment. And as I bring the plan back into the dark, there's six things do the Lord hate, and the seven is abomination. A proud look, what you think is all about you. You don't care nothing about nobody. You're nasty because you think you control, you can do anything you want to do. Because why? You get convicted, but you ain't convinced God to do nothing to you. <coughs> he said, Listen to what he said. He said, six things God hate. A proud look. Here you go, a lying tongue. And that every time somebody asks you what happened, you ain't never wrong. Not just at church, at work. You even lie on your chin. You just a liar. You just feel like you need to get out of it. He said, a, a proud look, a lying tongue, a hand that shed innocent blood. You just kill everybody in the church. They innocent. You got to make them. You got to make them bad. Like like One thing people better know: spirits is real, yeah. and you can see the torment what spirits do to people. And they don't understand spirit is real. That's how people commit suicide. Something be talking to them that ain't God. Because God is a life giver. Anytime you want to talk about <coughs> killing yourself, you know you are the devil. God don't do that. This is what he said. He said, hands that said, shed innocent blood. A heart that device wickedness imagination. Everything you see about somebody is wicked. These things God hates. You can't see no good in the church. You can't see no good in nobody. But I don't see no good in you neither. Mirror, mirror on the wall. He said, feet that swift and run into machine. A false witness that speak lie. Ain't that so? And he that saw discord. Among the brothers. Thy word have a posse hidden in the hall that I might not sin against you. These things have I spoken unto you that you should not be offended. But for some reason, man get offended with the truth. This know also that in the last days, 2023, perilous times shall come for men and women to be lovers of their own self. They ain't got time to be dealing with no God, doing what God wants. The judgment must begin at the house of God. To execute judgment unto all and to convince of all uh, ungodly among them all, the ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speech which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. They've spoken against God. God is trying to tell us, y'all doing too much against me and before him shall be gathered all nations and he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divide his sheep 
from his goat, and he shall set the sheep on the right hand and the goats on the left. God is trying to tell us something, and we just don't want to listen. The judgment must begin at the house of God. Come on, we can.